a wasp just outside my window and right now I'm really glad that windows exist. Fucking hate wasps. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It feels like ages since I've sat down and filmed a video and I guess it is because the last few videos... Be... You're gonna have to put up with this. The last few videos have kind of not been the sit down and talking ones. I'm editing two vlogs at the moment. Uh, one of them should be up by the time this has gone up. Probably both actually. And I've been working on a lot of music. But the main reason that I haven't kind of sat down and done a talking video, I guess, is because I've not been doing too good. Mentally, I've kind of hit a real low. And that has resulted in about an hour and a half ago me having to go to the doctors and telling her that she didn't seem to give a shit to be honest to be fair i didn't tell her how bad things were she's a nice doctor but i'm not quite sure how i feel about her competency at the moment i really hope she doesn't ever watch this if so i'm sorry but you didn't even listen to my heart when i say i've hit a real low mentally i mean in terms of my mood, my anxiety, mainly my mood. I haven't made any notes except like a few words on my phone, so you're gonna just have to bear with me rambling. Hopefully when I come to edit it together, it will make more sense. It's quite funny, I was sat in the doctors and I realized that I was dressed like proper all in black, like every single thing of me was black. And I looked like such an, including like my nails, and I looked like such a little emo kid, it was quite funny. What wasn't funny is why I had to go to the doctors. There were a few physical things that I needed to talk to her about, but I realised, and it's something that I've been thinking about for about three months, that my mood, it just needs a bit of help. And I've talked in the past about my views on antidepressants. That is what this video is going to be about, basically just medication and why I've come to this decision. So I went to the doctor and I just said, I think I might need to try some antidepressants because I really don't feel great. As I've said before on my channel, I've tried antidepressants before and nothing has ever helped. And I've given them, you know, more than enough time. Nothing's, nothing's done anything. But I reached a point now where I feel like it's not exactly gonna hurt. So I went to the doctor and I asked if I could have some. And obviously she said yes. I still don't know, you know, I've not actually swallowed one yet. <laughs> so I don't know whether or not I'm actually gonna go through with taking them, but I think I'm gonna give it a go. As I said, I've tried antidepressants before and nothing's really helped. I have this fear about taking antidepressants and this might sound really stupid, and them helping. And I know that this isn't how they work. I'm worried that they'll make me happy in an unhappy situation, like my depression can tend to be both chemical and situational so I can, and I think at the moment it's kind of a combination of both, like there's been things in my life that have been getting me down, but at the moment things are okay and yet yeah, I am at probably my lowest point ever, or joint lowest point ever. I've never felt like this before but like I'm getting out of bed and I'm getting dressed and I literally just collapse and I'm just crying and not just like little tear crying but proper screaming crying for the whole day. Um, I'm having to take lorazepam throughout the day just to keep me even, not even bring me down but just to keep me even. And obviously that's not good because the more lorazepam you take the more lorazepam you need and my tolerance just goes Ugh. so I'm trying to kind of keep a lid on that but it's Surprise, motherfucker. Mm. Surprise, motherfucker. but that's the only way that I'm kind of coping at the moment Aww. so I spoke to Sam about it and obviously he he was kind of encouraging me to go I wanted to talk about antidepressants as a whole like I mean it's weird like I know that my view is really skewed I'm worried that they will actually be like a magic cure and make me falsely happy when I shouldn't be happy. In the past, especially like when I was really low and I had no reason to be happy, I was like, I don't want to take an antidepressant that might make me happy about having a really shit life. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to be happy about being in pain all the time. And that sounds really weird, but that's just how my brain works. Um, and that's another thing that's just kind of been getting me down. I am in so much pain. It's kind of stupid how much pain I'm in. My feet are kind of standard. My feet always hurt. My hips are really bad at the moment. I've got osteoarthritis in my hips. I had an x-ray a few weeks ago and I'm still waiting on the results. My joints just ache 
like a bitch. So my knees, my hips, my ankles, sometimes my shoulders, but that's kind of rare, like my lower back. It's just excruciating and I've been getting really, really bad chest pains as well. My heart's been playing up and it just means I feel ill, throwing in my headaches as well. And it's not, it's not nice, you know? And I've always been like, I don't want to be happy with being in pain. All I've ever wanted is to have somebody in my life. And I've always, in the past, I always said that would make me happy. Somebody who wants me and wants to be in my life and who loves me. And I have that now. That fulfills a part of me that I didn't know existed and makes me happy in a way that I didn't know I could be. Does that mean that I'm better? No. And I wish it did because if anyone's gonna make me better then it's him, but I have a life of shitness behind me. And as much as I don't like living in the past and I try and put that behind me, it's really hard knowing that I am this age and I have achieved nothing. I have nothing to show for my life and it makes me feel it makes me feel really worthless and really useless and unnecessary. And that's kind of been a big part of my lowness at the moment, I guess. I feel just worthless and unnecessary. I feel just worthless and unnecessary, you know? Most people my age are married, have kids, have a job, have money, they have friends. I have none of that. <laughs> and it makes me feel really, what's the word? It makes me feel really not selfish, but I can't remember the word. If I can remember the word, I'll insert it. But it makes me feel selfish for, want selfish for wanting more. As I said, I am the happiest I've ever, be I've ever been, but I'm also the saddest I've ever been. And that's a really, really weird place to be. When I'm with Sam, I'm really happy and things are great. But when I'm not with him, it's like how I was before, but I've had that happiness removed, so I kind of feel even worse. And along with the fact that on my mind is just this whole worthlessness and this unnecessariness thing. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just talking a load of crap. All of these feelings have resulted in me deciding just to give antidepressants a go. Um, in case you're wondering, I asked for sertraline because I know that, that that's one that has the least side effects for me. I was either gonna ask for sertraline or fluoxetine, so Prozac. Um, I, went, I know that I was on sertraline for three years um, when I was 16 and I don't remember any bad side effects to that, whereas I had a few bad side effects with Prozac, so I thought I'll lean towards sertraline. And my doctor did say that a psychiatrist friend of hers said that sertraline is the best one as a standard to use. Yeah, I've never been at a point in my life where I'm getting out of bed and I'm trying to get on with the day and I get dressed and I just collapse and I'm crying and I'm just staring at the wall for hours on end, screaming and self-harming and wanting to be dead because I don't want to feel like this. And I, you know, for the first time in my life when I'm having suicidal thoughts, I don't want to be having them. But there's just this overwhelming feeling of everyone will be better if I'm gone and I have nothing to give. And that's really hard to try and face the day and try and deal with feeling like that. I, you know, I defy anyone to be able to be dealt with the feelings and the shit in my brain and the pain that I have and not feel the same. So, yeah. I'm scared about how I might possibly feel. I know that it, as I said, it's not like, it doesn't magically make you feel any different. It's just like, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm unhappy, but I'm feeling falsely not as unhappy as I should be. That, that scares me a lot, but I'll give them a go. We'll see how it goes, and maybe I will report back to you on how they're getting on, how I'm getting on with them in a little while. I'm on the starting dose, but she said I can just move up 50 milligrams a week. So I'll do that. I think that's all I'm gonna say for now because I don't wanna just say something random just for the sake of saying something. I don't really feel very well, so it's probably best I wrap up this video anyway. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you found it helpful or you found it interesting. Um, please, I want to know your comments and views as always, so leave them down below. I try and always reply to people. If I don't, then it's because I haven't got a notification because YouTube can be a bit shit. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe and like this video. If you have any questions or ideas for videos, let me know down below. 
um, and I will see you another time. Bye.